For decades, the semiconductor industry has been defined and constrained by the immutable laws of physics. Every improvement in chip performance, every leap forward in miniaturization, has been a battle against these fundamental limits. Shrinking transistors down to mere nanometers is like trying to carve sculptures from atoms themselves, an incredible challenge that requires ingenuity, precision, and a deep understanding of the atomic world. For years, engineers and scientists around the globe believed they had a clear picture of the ultimate boundaries. We thought we knew exactly how far microchip technology could go and what the physical thresholds were. But now, an extraordinary claim has emerged from China that could upend all of that. The announcement that they have successfully fabricated a one nanometer chip. This is a claim so audacious, so unprecedented, that it sends shockwaves through the semiconductor world. To appreciate the magnitude of this, it helps to visualize the scale. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, a length so unimaginably small it defies common experience. A human hair is roughly 80,000 to 100,000 nanometers thick. DNA strands, the very molecules that carry the blueprint of life, are about 2.5 nanometers wide. So a one nanometer chip suggests technology working at or near atomic precision. If true, this breakthrough would represent a quantum leap in semiconductor manufacturing, far beyond incremental improvements or the gradual shrinking of transistor sizes that we've seen over decades. It would mean operating at the edge of what physics allows, in a domain where electrons no longer behave predictably, where quantum tunneling and leakage currents threaten to cripple performance, and where classical transistor designs simply break down. Today, only a handful of global companies can manufacture chips at the cutting edge, like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung. Their most advanced chips are currently produced at the 3 nanometer node, with 2 nanometer production planned for 2025 or 2026. These dimensions are already pushing the limits of current lithography techniques, requiring incredibly sophisticated tools like extreme ultraviolet EUVL lithography machines made by the Dutch company ASML. The idea that any country could leapfrog directly to a one nanometer node, an achievement many in the industry believe to be decades away, is staggering. The question is how could this be possible? One plausible explanation is that China has developed highly advanced multi-patterning methods using older, deep ultraviolet dove lithography equipment. Multi-patterning is a complex technique that involves multiple rounds of patterning and etching to effectively create features smaller than what the lithography tool could normally print. However, this approach is extremely complicated, costly, and difficult to scale for mass production, especially at scales as small as one nanometer. While it could serve as a proof of concept, it's unlikely to represent a fully industrialized process capable of producing millions of chips reliably and cost-effectively. Another intriguing possibility is that Chinese researchers have made breakthroughs in new materials science. Silicon, the traditional semiconductor material, faces fundamental limits as transistors shrink. Alternative materials like graphene or transition metal dichalcogenitized ultra-thin, two-dimensional materials with exceptional electrical properties, could revolutionize chip design by allowing smaller transistor channels and mitigating quantum effects such as electron tunneling. If China has managed to harness these materials effectively in a production environment, it would be a major technological revolution. It's also conceivable that China is experimenting with entirely new transistor architectures. Traditional planar transistors have long since been replaced by three-dimensional FinFET designs, and the industry is moving toward gate-all-around transistors for better control at tiny scales. China may have pioneered a novel approach, or even hybridized classical transistor design with quantum or spintronic elements to circumvent the physical barriers that have traditionally limited scaling. Yet such radical innovations tend to take years or even decades to move from the lab to commercial commercial manufacturing. Despite these fascinating theories, significant skepticism remains. China faces substantial hurdles in acquiring the critical EUV lithography equipment needed for cutting-edge semiconductor manufacturing. Due to export controls aimed at limiting their advanced chip production capabilities, access to these machines has been severely restricted. Without EUV tools, achieving 1 nanometer precision through traditional silicon processes would be nearly impossible. 
Furthermore, there has been no independent verification of these claims. No third-party analysis, no public benchmarking, no chip teardowns from reputable sources have substantiated the existence of mass-produced 1 nanometer chips from China. This lack of transparency fuels speculation that the announcement could be a strategic move, a form of technological posturing designed to send a message to competitors and investors alike. Such announcements are not uncommon in the tech world, where perception and psychological advantage are as valuable as actual production. Though regardless of whether the one nanometer chip claim proves true or not, there is no question that China is aggressively pushing forward in semiconductor technology. Over the past several years, they have made considerable advances in mature process nodes, such as 14 nanometer and 12 nanometer chips. And companies like SMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, have achieved progress at the 5 nanometer scale, which is highly respectable given the trade restrictions and technological hurdles they face. China is investing enormous amounts of capital, reportedly in the trillions of dollars, into developing a fully domestic semiconductor supply chain. This effort encompasses everything from the development of electronic design automation software to wafer fabrication, packaging technologies, and advanced material science. Their ambition is not just to catch up, but to establish a self-reliant ecosystem that can compete on the world stage without dependence on Western technology and equipment. The strategic implications of a real one nanometer breakthrough would be enormous. Advanced chip manufacturing is the backbone of nearly every high-tech industry, from artificial intelligence and quantum computing to telecommunications, military systems, and beyond. Leadership in semiconductor technology translates directly into leadership in economic and national security domains. A genuine one nanometer chip capability would render many existing trade restrictions and export controls obsolete overnight and could give China an unprecedented edge in the global technology race. This isn't about faster smartphones or better laptops. It's about control. Control over the fundamental building blocks of the future digital economy, control over innovation, and control over geopolitical influence. The stakes could not be higher. So where does this leave us? Is China truly defying the laws of physics? Or is this claim a carefully crafted geopolitical maneuver? The truth is likely complex and layered. There may be some real breakthroughs combined with strategic messaging designed to shape global narratives and leverage bargaining power. As observers, analysts, and technology enthusiasts, it is vital to stay vigilant and critical. We must watch closely for independent verification and future developments. The semiconductor industry is a fast-moving arena full of surprises and breakthroughs. This story is far from over. If you're captivated by the cutting edge of technology, by the quest to push beyond current limits into new frontiers of computing power and innovation, this is just the beginning. The race for semiconductor supremacy is accelerating, and every new development could reshape our world. So, what do you think? Is China's 190 meter chip claim the dawn of a new era in technology, or a high-stakes game in a complex geopolitical chess match? Share your thoughts, stay curious, and keep exploring. The future is unfolding right now, and we're here to bring you every step of the way. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the heart of the semiconductor revolution. Stay tuned for more insights into the technologies that will define our tomorrow. Together, we'll watch as the boundaries of possibility continue to expand, and as the next chapter in human innovation is written.